Hi, I'm Bloody Dubs. I'm the creator and main developer of Bowser Advance 3062, and I have a new feature to show. Today we are talking about C3 and C3i. C3 is a computer system that's from Tabletop Battletech. It's called the C3 Network. It allows units to interlink in a overlapping network of technology, uh, which is pretty exciting. And I'm actually, because it's a little non-intuitive and a little complicated, I'm actually going to show you using this real board, this real game situation taken from my Twitch streams, to indicate what's going on here. So, every unit on my lance has either C3 or C3i. Four of them have C3, four of them have C3i. So, we'll do, we'll use the C3i network right now, because it's the easiest example. So, the C3i units are the Mercury 2, the Minsk, the Emperor, and the Star Slayer. That means they are part of a C3i network. The way C3 works is units with Units that can attack uh, are being draw their ranges to enemies based on the closest unit in the network. So I'm not down at the right initiative, which I should have done. But like the Star Slayer has C3i and it is adjacent to this this Hornet, right? So it's very very close. That means if the Mercury was going to shoot it, we can demonstrate this. The Mercury has very good numbers, and that's because if you mouse over it, you see at the very top right under Gunnery Eight, it says C3 short range under 150 meters. Um, it is definitely not at 150 meters. It's definitely further away than that. But because it has an ally in the same network as it that's within that distance, it the Mercury 2 considers its range to be... It's drawing its range not from itself, but from its closest C3i equipped ally. Which means that its range numbers are fantastic. So if I jumped it even further away, as long as I'm within maximum range, so I can actually hit it with a gun, uh, it would have these very, it had this very excellent range numbers because its ally is so close. That's really the nuts and bolts of how C3 behaves. Um, it's actually really just that easy. Uh, so we will reserve down. See if they counter reserve me. Okay, they're not, they're they're gonna go. Sorry, I didn't really plan this out very well. But that's how C3 works. Now, C3 and C3i are distinct. So they have different networks. So C3i units are not on C3 networks, and C3 networks are not C3 units are not on C3i networks. Very easy to understand. Uh, notably, C3 and C3i also have a couple of other distinctions. So C3 is composed of two unit, two uh, two items: the C3 Master and the C3 Slave. The C3 Slave, which is what most of my C3 units here have, only exists to add you to the network. It doesn't do anything on its own. It just adds you to the network. So the Enfield, the Fox. And the Naja are all have C3 slaves, so they are part of the C3 net. The Lancelot has a C3 master. The C3 master, in addition to being a tag, which is just pretty standard in how it works now, not only adds you to the C3 network, but it also has uh, related adjacency bonuses. He punched out, thank you. I would have preferred he live so I could use him to demonstrate things. So the C3 Master also has a radius around it that gives you bonuses as long as you're within that radius and you're part of the network, which I will demonstrate here. So the Lancelot gives a C3 Master Resolve bonus to units in the network that are within its radius. The radius is this little blue circle. You can see here, you can see this blue circle. You'll notice the fox is just inside of it. If I mouse over the fox, it has the Resolve bonus and it also has an Evasion Ignore bonus for being in the C3 radius. Now, if we go over to the Naja, which is not in the radius, it is in the network, but it's not in the radius of the Lancelot, because the radius ends here. The Naja... I don't need to do that. The Naja does not have those benefits. But let's say we move him into the network. This is not really the move I would normally make, but it's fine. You'll see he gains... He gains those benefits. The Resolve and Evasion Ignore, because he's entered the C3 Master uh, Radius of Effect. Um, also, I mean, these guys are super close to this, so he's got really good numbers. We'll shoot him just for chuckles, because why not? We're here. Hopefully the Dead King lives. It did. Now you'll notice, so, the Enfield is also part of the C3 Network. It's quite far away, but if we click on this, I've got amazing hit, hit chances, because again... It has C3 allies very close, and so the short range on these ER mediums is 120 meters, which is about four hexes, uh, about four, you know, tiles. So it's about, you know, that dist the distance to, like, this Mercury. Uh, but because he's got allies who are within that distance, the, the Lancelot and the Naja are very close, so he has the excellent numbers to hit. If you go over here, 
against this Hornet, he's still within the range because these guys, because the Naja is still very close. It's still a decently close C3 ally. Whereas if he's, like, let's say he was going to shoot the Cicada, he's still got good numbers because he's got ridiculous height. But he's at long range because the closest C3 unit is the Naja? Yeah, it's the Naja, which is a little closer, but not a lot closer. <laughs> so that's why his shots are, he's still getting the long range penalty because he's above 300 meters and below 340. So it looks like it's, or 360. Yeah, so it looks like it's about 310 to 350 meters from the Naja, not from him. If he was not part of the network, uh, he'd have much worse numbers. Um, C3I works exactly the same way as C3, except that every C3I unit has this radius. So the Star Slayer has the C3I radius. You can see the, the light blue circle. C3I works exactly the same as a C3 Master. C3I links to C3I. Um, and C3I has this bonus radius. It is very similar to the Master. It grants a Resolve bonus and a flat accuracy bonus instead of Evasion Ignore. Uh, however, there's two other things about C3 you should know. And I can't demonstrate them here because I don't have an example. And the enemies do are not kind enough to bring one. C3 is broken by ECM. So any ECM sources, standard, friendly, or ally, friendly or enemy, will break the C3 network. And any unit with a C3 unit, not C3I, just standard C3, any C3 unit within the radius of an ECM is re considered removed from the network. It disconnects from the network. So it no longer counts for drawing range accuracy. It no longer counts for being in the range of a C3 master. It is disconnected from the network. C3I is hardened against ECM and does not have that. C3I can be in, in range of an ECM all day, every day, forever. Note, this ECM weakness for C3 does affect your own ECM. It, your friendly ECM will break your C3 networks. Be careful when you use, when you use ECM with C3. Realistically, just don't. Use C3, or use ECM, don't use both. Or be very careful, which you can be very careful. I've, I've actually done it on stream, you can be careful, it's a little bit of a pain. Notably, uh, here, let's use, yeah, let's click this guy. You'll notice that there's this flashing light, actually, he's a bad example. You'll notice there's this flashing light down here, that's because C3 is now an activated component. When you want to, if you are disconnected from the network, and you leave that coverage, the ECM coverage, so you can reactivate, you will not rejoin the network automatically. You will have to click the component down here to cycle it off and cycle it on to re-enter the network. Just a little heads up. The C3 Master is the same way. You'll have to click and you'll have to turn off and turn back on the C3 Master circuitry to re-engage the network. Little heads up in case the enemy ECMs you. Uh, and that's all the news that's fit to print. That's everything there is to know about C3. Uh, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It's a lot of fun to play with, and it's very powerful. So, go out there, give it a try. Uh, this was this is released with our 14.2 uh, patch. So, go check that out. And yeah, if you have any questions, hit me up on Discord. Hit you know, come up on Discord and ask. Happy to talk about it with you. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I will see you on the Discord. Keep playing BTA, guys. Keep having a good time. Peace out.